All right, today what I want to do is talk about two-way table distributions. Two-way table distributions are distributions of categorical data. You maybe would have had um, a whole lot of categorical data, raw data, all listed out in columns and in sheets. And then what we do is we take all that information and we stick it into a table so we can better understand it. This is our table of all the summary of all that. So if we want to know how many men that dance, we had two of those. If we want to know how many women that like sports, we had six of those. It also tells us some of these um, totals. So how many women total do we have? We had 30 men and women total. How many total TV viewers did we have? We had 16. How many total people in our survey did we have? We had 50 in total. Okay. That is a two-way table, and it's always for categorical data. In our two-way table distribution, we can talk about um, three different aspects of it. First aspect I want to talk about is a marginal distribution. Marginal distributions are distributions of the totals. So I can look at the total for gender, and my total for gender is 20 for men, 30 for women, and out of the total of the table, which is 50. Or I can look at the totals for activity. So my totals for activity are 18, 16, 16, with a total table of 50. A lot of times the question that deals with marginal distributions are going to be something like um, total. So I have the keyword total. And the question could be something like uh, what's a total, what's a percentage of men in our survey? Uh, percent of men in our survey. Notice that there's only one variable, men. It's only of gender. So I can take my total men, which is 20, divided by the total of my table, which is 50. Remember, to do percentages, we're going to do 20 divided by 50, which is 0.4. Multiply that by 100, it gives you 40%. So this equals 40%. But a lot of times with marginal distribution, they might ask you specifically, what's the marginal distribution of one of the variables? So if I were to ask, what's the marginal distribution Um, of activity. What you want to do, you want to look at your totals for activity. So instead of saying marginal, say total. What's a total distribution of activity? And I would just go ahead and circle all those. Okay? So now we can just kind of take them one at a time. Dance. My marginal distribution for dance is 18 out of the total of the table, which is 50. So again, if I do 18 divided by 50, oops, I get 30.36, which is 36%. For sports, going to be 16 out of 50, which if you do the math is going to be 32%. And lastly I have TV, which again is 16 out of 50, which gives me 32%. And there's my marginal distribution of activity. We can double check that by adding up all the percentages. We have 36 plus 32 plus 32 gives me 100% and that makes sense. I have 100% of the people did either dance, sports, or TV into my distribution. Sometimes if you have rounded, it might be a little bit less or a little bit more than 100. That's okay. Note that you rounded. All right, so next what I want to talk about is relative or conditional distributions. Relative and conditional distributions are distributions that are based on one variable. A lot of times the words are going to be 
given that or out of so a question might be something like um, out of all the men how many prefer sports out of all the men how many prefer sports the key to doing these is to realize what your subcategory is in this case it's going to be I'll highlight it for you out of all the men is my subcategory so what I want to do is kind of highlight or circle that subcategory and now I only can use those numbers in my calculation for my percentage so out of all the men so that's um, 2 10 18 my total men is 20 how many prefer sports well sports is going to be right here 10 out of 20 so 10 out of 20 10 divided by 20 is 50 percent so out of all the men how many prefer sports 50 percent or 50% of all the men prefer sports, 10 out of 20. That makes sense. Sometimes a question is going to be a direct question of um, give me the conditional distribution of gender given uh, TV preference. Uh, so give conditional distribution. gender given TV preference so again so I gotta find what my subcategory is in this case it's given TV preference so given TV preference I'm going to circle that, and there's the only numbers that I can use. So again, I'm going to label. So my male is going to be 8 out of 16. 8 out of 16 is 50%. And my female, I should say woman, is again 8 out of 16 or 50%. And last, I want to talk about joint distributions. Joint distributions are going to be distributions of an individual cell. Individual cell. So Typically, the keywords for these are going to be and, both. So the question might ask, uh, what's the distribution of men, um, uh, men who like to dance, or men and dance, or women uh, that both like to, both are women and they like TV. So... Let's do men that on uh, dance. So men and dance. Men and dance. And these are always going to be divided by the total of the table. So men and dance, men is right here. And dance, and then out of 50. So this is 2 out of 50. And that is 4%. Um, another one could be uh, name somebody who is uh, both a woman and likes sports. A woman and likes sports is six. So out of fifty, so six, and then it is twelve percent. So remember, the keywords are and um, or both. Those are my keywords. 
And that's how you do uh, marginal distributions. I'm sorry, that's how you do two-way table distributions, uh, both marginal, relative, and joint.